Hey YouTube, Jacob here bringing you another video today. I'm going to be doing an accuracy test on my A17 RIS. So, these are the specifications of the shooting test. I've got a 300 round high capacity M4 M16 type mag, obviously. M4 M16 type gun. You need the mag for it. So, 300 round high cap loaded up with Crossman point two ram BB and my partially charged 8.4 volt 1100 milliamp got it right this time pro pack battery with a mini type connector if that makes a difference but I'm going to be shooting at a second uh, that barrel and there's a piece of paper in there and that's my target so uh, I'll be uh, I'll be right back because I got to load up my mag put my battery in but after that I'm going to be shooting so stay tuned okay YouTube got my piece of paper set up and Ready to shoot. So, again, point to the end. I forgot to mention I'm shooting from a about 10 feet. So, we'll go for semi auto first. And if I do shoot, don't hate. I mean, if I do shoot two at a time or go into full auto, don't hate because my semi auto, I mean, full auto is broken. I mean, semi auto, yeah. Now we will go full automatic. From 10 feet, it is no problem. I'm gonna back up about five feet. And semi-automatic first. Full auto. Let's zoom out. Okay. Come with me. Give me a second. In holes. Out holes. So yeah, we got some pretty good results. This gun, great CQB gun. As you can see, from like 30 feet, it was still hitting the target, even on full auto fire. So, my conclusion is buy this gun for CQB. Again, the price, I can't. Like I've mentioned it in all of my reviews of this gun, um, everything, the price of this gun is so cheap. I mean, for what you're getting, you've got an RIS front rail, like RIS system, full integrated RIS system, and it's removable. Like, you don't just get that from, like some KWA guns don't even offer this. I mean, you've got a nice feeding 300 round high cap mag. It's plastic, but it still lasted me. Like it's, I, I haven't had any problems with it, except for that I didn't know that I needed to reset the spring after every time I used it. No con about this gun. The only thing that's ever broke on it is the semi-auto switch, but I don't even care. Now my finger's the fire selector. I can go full auto. Or semi. See, it doesn't even matter. And I like this clear plastic. Because it makes every gun look like a blowback. You've got a full stock that has barely any wobble, and the gun comes apart with one screw. So, for $100, you're getting like top quality. I mean, it could have a metal gearbox. So, what? It doesn't have a metal gearbox. It doesn't mean everything on a gun. Yes, it's a downside. But again, 
And it comes with a grip, a red dot, and an M16 style peep sight. And it's got a metal top rail. How could you not want this gun? Full of, auto, full adjustable hop up, great gun, buy it. Just, yeah. Just stop watching this video right now. Go and buy the DPMS Panther Arms A17 RIS. Well, I'm just gonna do it for today's video. So as always, leave a comment below, like the video, with thumbs up, share it on Facebook, Twitter, everything, email it to your friends, and, but most importantly, shoot safe.